Panna cotta al caffè. Panna cotta, dessert time, one of those quintessential Italian desserts. You can make it in any flavor. And you know in our house, who really loves dessert? You're right. Grandma. That's me. She's That's here. Me. So you like panna cotta, don't you? One of the best, yeah. The easy one. to digest, easy to swallow, easy to everything. Uh-huh. Today I'm going to make it uh, coffee flavor. Is that okay with you? Okay, perfectly all right. Okay, she's happy. We're going ahead. So let me teach you. It's very simple how to make. Uh, panna, cotta. Panna is cream, cotta is cooked. And you begin with just some milk and some gelatin in the milk. With just a low temperature, you want that to dissolve itself. In the meantime, here we have the cream. And again, you don't want anything to boil because when you boil milk or cream, it changes the flavor, oddly enough. So you just want to bring it up. You want that creamy, milky flavor. In the cream, we put some sugar. Did you know all that, Grandma? You're more smart than me. I don't know how to cook no more. But you know how to eat, that's for sure. Oh, that's it. So coffee, yeah. some instant coffee here. A little of Sambuca. You like the Sambuca? Oh, that's it. Give me a little zing, huh? And a little bit of vanilla. Okay. So let's mix this. So this is the cream with the coffee flavor, with sugar. It's like a, a good cafe latte. So tell me, Grandma, when you were young, what were desserts, the desserts that your mother made for you? We was not, I tell you, uh, very rich, but uh, she used to do lare palacinke or crepe suzette, how you call it in French. Uh -huh. Because uh, she have a flour at home, eggs from the chicken at home. She have almost everything in the house. And was uh, for her was the inexpensive cake for the family. And we still make them today at home. Not only the grandkids, the, your great-grandkids love them. And when they come over, Nona, can you make some? Palachinka, can you make some? We, we call them actually omelette. Can you make some omelette? Do you want me to tell you something that happened to me? One day came a young boy from Ireland to visit us. And I was making palachinke or omelette, how you come on to call. He came and he said what I'm doing. I said to him some kind of sweet my children like. He said, may I taste one? I said, sure, Sedan. The mostly what I can eat in my life is four of them. Do you know how many he ate? Seven. 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 Did that make you happy? Very, very happy. He never forgot. He kissed me and hugged me. He was so happy. He said that he ah. will be back. So let me shut off the cream. I don't want it to boil. The milk as well. The uh, gelatin has dissolved. Let's just mix it in. Okay. And you see, Grandma, that's as simple as it gets. We have the base for panna cotta done. Okay. And since I know that you are curious and you like to taste everything here, before I put it to chill. Sweet give enough? Me, give me more. Well, I gotta chill it. Some salt, just to offset it. And here are the ramekins, and we'll just put them in. You can make it a day, two, three in advance. You keep it in the refrigerator. It solidifies, and then when your guests come, you just pull it out and unmold it, and voila. Thank God I have you. You try to satisfy all my desire. That's beautiful. Thank God you had me. Okay. Because I wouldn't be here otherwise. You look like a teacher. You are a teacher. I learned from you. I was a teacher, but to how to write and to read, not how to do the cake. Oh. I remember you start to cook when you was 12. And every night when I came from work at 12 o'clock, I have a one different cake. And I said, where you learn to do every day different cake? You said to me, it's everything on the back side, read and I <laughs> Yeah, she's it. right, she's right. When we first came to the United States, I discovered, since she was working late, I was in charge of dinner, and I discovered this pre-mix cake boxes. I thought I discovered the world. 
All you had to do is open the box, put an egg, and maybe some milk or butter, put it in the oven, and voila. And so every night we had a different, whether it was chocolate devil cake, whether it was lemon cake, every night we had a different, you were right. Yeah, no. that's it, I didn't forget. This is the uh, panna cotta. You put it in the refrigerator. In about two, three hours, it should be solid, but I think overnight is best. I put my note, say two for me. Two? Yeah, you can have two. That's it. For sure. I have two reserved already. The rest are for you and me. Panna cotta is a favorite Italian dessert. It's just the cooking of cream and milk and sugar and some flavorings and a little gelatin and just let it chill. But the fun of it is that you can flavor it any way you want. You can top it with berries, roasted fruit, poached fruit, jams, chocolate and toasted walnuts and so on. So it's one of those fun recipes, easy and lighter, and you can dress it any way you want. So Grandma, dessert is here. Per non restare a bocca asciutta. Per sicuro, non restare a bocca asciutta. Sai cosa vuol dire? Cosa? Tu sei il mio sole. Okay. Dammi quello che mi piace. Okay. To restare a bocca asciutta means that you're kind of left there standing with a dry mouth. But I told her, that's not her case today. She has her dessert. Ricordati, sì. ho chiesto due. Remember, I ask you for two. We'll see how you behave. All right. Perfetto. Perfetto. Is it perfect for you? Yeah. Here. Well, I'm doing that because you are impatient. Clean it up. I surely will. She likes to clean up the pots and pans. Okay. Le cata padella, dicono. Mm. I'm going to leave it just like that. That sure, does it. Sure. One for Perfetto. you, one for me? Yeah, but save me one of them for later. Okay, we'll share these. Now, Grandma, I have whipped cream. I have chocolate. I have caramello. I have mandorle. What would you like on yours? I want to taste everything. Ever? I'm so greedy today. Let's put whipped cream. Oh, Madonna, che buono. One like this. And let's put a little chocolate on one. Mm. Oh, look nice. And the other one we'll do with caramello. Mmm. Bellissimo. Bello, huh? Vuoi un po' di mandorle? You want almonds? Just a drop. Like this few? That's it, plenty. Okay, plenty. and just like that? Yeah. And since Sambuca is in the dessert, we'll have Sambuca. Oh, anche Sambuca. Facciamo un cin cin prima. Salute. Salute. Cin cin. Cin cin. Mmm, che buono, the li licorice. Let me taste. That's good. Nice and sweet. Mm, good. Sweet, strong, all the things you yeah, like, Grandma. Yeah, and yeah. so this is your panna cotta. And I'll have this. And then maybe we'll switch them. If I don't eat everything before the new. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like your taste. Go ahead, taste. Okay, I'll taste. I like your taste. I'll taste yours. You want me to taste yours? Sure. Mmm, it's good too. Mm. This is just delicious, mm, nice. nice and light. I have so, no time to talk to you. Okay, let me talk to them at least. The question is not to put too much gelatin. You don't want it really, really tough. You want it smooth and that's all. And then you invert it and you can top it with anything you like. If you make it a vanilla, you can put raspberries or strawberries or whatever. But this is delicious. And Grandma, I know you're into it very much, but we have to invite them. That's polite. What do we say to them? Tutti a tavola a mangiare. You heard the lady. Però non vi lascio di questo dolce. Me prendo due, due, due. She said, tutti a tavola a mangiare, but I'm not leaving you these two. These are mine. So, do come. Tutti a tavola a mangiare. Mm -hmm. 